A Summary of Featherbent, Arc 1, Chapter 1 So first off the bat, let's get this one thing straight about Featherbent. Fucking, Fucking bird, bird people! So the narrator's like, Let me use my sexy voice to entice the player into continuing to play Featherbent while I rupture their various reproductive organs. And then afterwards, we're introduced to this little prick called John who has these blue glasses and I guess he's cleaning his house or something. And then Vriska shows up and the one thing you have to know about Vriska is that she has a large... Ego. Also breasts. breasts. So Vrisk is like, Oh yeah, John, are you preparing for the sweep? And John's like, uh, um, uh, Stop mocking me. But then Vrisk is all like, Ah, oh, go get me some tea leaves, you useless son of a bitch. And John's like, Fine, but where am I gonna get tea leaves? And Vrisk is like, I don't know. Why don't you go check the forest floor or some bullshit? So now John's on the forest floor looking for tea leaves and shit, and he finds these red feathers, and he's like, God damn it. I didn't know that the Cardinals were playing here. And then there's like this hella ugly sickle, and then there's like a dude in a stump, but he's not important. Oh wait, shit, yeah, he's really important. His name's Carcat. And he's all like, I'm dying slowly. And John's all like, that's cool. So they talk a while, and they talk a while, and they don't talk about anything interesting, really. You know, except for the fact that, you know, they're talking about the forest floor, which is like really, really important. And then Carcat's like, I'm still starving. And John's all like, well, what if I got you cranberry muffins? And Carcat's like, I want a pink fucking basket. And John's like, fine. And so right as he's about to leave, John's all like, would you rather be trampled by a horse-sized duck or a duck-sized horse? And Carcat's like, the fuck are you smoking? And John's like, wine, bitch. Yeah. And he flies away. So then John shows back up at Vriska's, and Vriska's like, well, where were you? I was busy trying to contain my large ego. Also breasts. breasts. And John's like, what do you know about the forest floor? And Vriska's like, why are you talking about the forest floor, John? Why are you such a douche? And John pushes the Y button to doubt that because he wants to say that she's lying, but he doesn't have enough evidence for that. And so Vriska's like, you should stop caring because that's Pyrope's territory and we got to fight and shit. So John's like, are you sure you don't know anything about the forest floor? And Vriska's like, cranberry muffins. And then the game ends, but not before Omidon uses his sexy voice to go, and now we're to find a pink basket so you can contain all of the orgasms held by my voice. So that's basically Featherbent Arc 1 Chapter 1.